Hallelujah, hallelujah, I'm so glad to tell. Hallelujah, hallelujah, with my soul it's well. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's our noonday meditation. God bless you. God bless you. If you're if you're on today, please um, please share the link and let somebody know that it's twelve o'clock and we only have a few minutes. Praise the Lord. We're going to be praying today. Thank you so much. God bless you for joining. We're going to be praying. We're going to talk about intercessions for a little bit. And then we're gonna be really praying. I'm outside in my car, so if you um, if you hear any um, interruptions, please pardon me. Uh, it was the, the quietest place I could find, so there's quite a bit of traffic, and it's also garbage day. So <laughs> hopefully the truck don't stop by. But thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. We thank God for another day. This is a day that the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank the Lord Jesus. Praise God. We're just going to take a moment and just worship the Lord today. For he's glorious, he's mighty, and he's worthy to be praised. Father, in Jesus' name, I just want to thank you for this beautiful day that you have given to us. Thank you for all who are alive and well on today. We thank you for the saints. We thank you for those who are not yet saved, that you will save them. Mighty God, as we are about to pray and read the word of God just for a few moments today. We ask you, dear Lord Jesus, to bless this transmission. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you for where we are and what you have made of us. Mighty God, you have brought us out of darkness into your marvelous light. And we want to love and praise you and thank you on today. We pray, O oh God, for your grace and mercy to constantly be upon us. We ask God for your grace and your guidance today. Help us to be available for you to use, mighty God. For you are worthy, righteous, and holy. Oh, Lord, we lift you up. We bless you. We thank you. We want to enter into your gates today with thanksgiving. Thank God. And into your courts with praise. Be thankful unto you and bless your name. For, Lord, you're good all the time. And all the time, you're good. We thank you. We give you glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. God bless you. Amen. Welcome back home. <laughs> Amen. Sister Dolores, praise God. All right. So I can come and see you. All right. Well, today we are going to be looking into uh, and we're going to be praying uh, intermittently for uh, as we go through the scriptures today. Today we want to talk about intercessory prayer. And one of the great examples of an intercessor is the man called Abraham. As a matter of fact, I, I just, this just occurred to me that the children of Israel are still alive today because of the kind of person an intercessor Abraham was. It's amazing that there are some things about us that doesn't make us famous. Abraham is regarded as the father of faith, but amen, his faith was perhaps fueled by his prayer. Um, Solomon is known for his many wives and his wisdom. But Solomon prayed so much that the priest could not even minister. Uh, the glory of the Lord filled the temple. They had to take the staves out, those two uh, long pieces of wood that was used to carry the ark around in the wilderness. They pull it out. They say, listen, we can't move. We're not moving anywhere because of the prayer of Solomon. But still, he's not known for his prayer. Prayer seems not to be something that, that puts you on the map. But thank God for people who are prayer prayer warriors. We thank God for you. Amen. Those of you who hit the knees and send God an email every day. Amen. Before you back out your driveway, before you plunge in at work, you spend some time before God. God bless you. I think the world is still revolving and rotating because of people of prayer. And so Abraham was known for his prayer. But in Genesis chapter 18, um, when, when Abraham... Uh, uh, realized or was told by God that judgment was pending for Sodom and Gomorrah, even though uh, it was a wicked city, even though the things that were done in Sodom were not righteous things. 
but but because Abraham had a heart um, for people. You notice he didn't just ask God to save his nephew who was down there, Lot and his family, because Lot and his family were just, let's see, Lot plus his wife plus his two daughters and the two son-in-laws. Um, that's six people. All right. He didn't just ask God to save six. He started at 50. That means there are other people around that needed to be saved. And so Abraham spent some time interceding to God for, amen, Sodom and Gomorrah. And we want to ask you today to pray for your area. Amen. We want to pray for your area. Let me tell you, God smiles on you when you have a heart that is like his. When you have a heart of compassion like God. When you love the Lord and you want people saved and you want people delivered. The enemy takes notice of you too. He will try his best to destroy you and all that kind of stuff. But with God on your side, when you when you're you're best there are a number of things that brings you into God's light. They are you're you're most like God when you have a heart for people. Because the Bible said God so loved the world. The world wasn't saved. The, not everybody in the world uh, was saved, is saved, will be saved. But God so loved the world. So, that adverb, the, the, that adverb so, um, the degree to which he loved the world, that he gave his only son. Who does that? We are, we are in the book of Judges, and in one of the chapters, um, there's a gentleman called Jephthah who made a vow to God uh, and said, Lord, the first thing that comes out of my house when I, um, if I win this battle, I'm going to sacrifice it, a burnt offering to you. And he had one daughter, <laughs> one daughter. And when he came from the victory, she was the first one. And he said, oh, my God, what have you done to me? You know, it, it broke his heart, but he made a vow. He made a vow. We're going to teach on that um, a couple of Tuesday nights from now, maybe next Tuesday. Please join us in our Bible class. But back to Abraham. Abraham had a passion, not just for his family, Lot, his wife, uh, two daughters and their husbands, not only for the six people that were that he knew down in Sodom, but he had a passion for the entire city. And he interceded. Over, over, in, um, over in Romans... Romans chapter 9. Let, let's see what Paul, that's Old Testament. You may say, oh, Bishop, that's Old Testament. But here, hear what Paul says in Romans chapter 9, verse number 1. Praise God. Romans chapter 9 and verse number 1. The Apostle Paul, here's what he said. And he, he goes into chapter 10 with it too. But chapter 9, verse 1, the Apostle Paul says, I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have a great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that I myself were a curse for, from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertain the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises. Paul says, I, 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 I would even put myself, Paul said, I would rather be cut off or are lost just so that they can be saved that's a that's the heart he had over in chapter 10 verse 1 here's what he says brethren my heart's desire and prayer to god for israel is that they might be saved for i bear them witness that they are they have a zeal for god but not according to knowledge you know i grew up in an era where church people used to, if you're not apostolic, they, they cuss you out. When was the last time you pray for the Adventists, the Catholics, the Church of God of Prophecy? Amen. That, because they have a zeal of God. These people love God, but not according to knowledge. And it should be a travesty. Amen. There are people, I'm sure you're not in the woods. You have got people around you that you can pray for, somebody across the street. That doctor you met in the hospital, that nurse you met in the hospital. We've got so many people we could pray for. Let me tell you how crucial this is. There was a man who went to hell. In in book of Luke, he went to hell. And when we when he realized he couldn't come out, he said, Abraham, Abraham, you know, send Lazarus to back to my house. And Abraham said, 
No, 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 no. Lazarus is already passed over. Can't go back. They won't be convinced, but they have people there. The man, even though he was in hell, he had a passion. He wanted to make sure that his brethren didn't come to this place. He said, tell them, tell them don't come to this place. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you right now. I praise your name. Hallelujah. I praise you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. We put our families before you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Our brothers and our sisters in Amen. Oh God, our relatives, our friends, our uncles, our aunts. Hallelujah, Lord. We place, hallelujah, Lord, our co-workers before you. In the name of Jesus, Lord Almighty, I pray for them, Lord, that they'll be saved. I pray, oh God, that you will use us in some way or the other. Oh God, help us to play a part in the salvation of a soul. In the name of Jesus, Lord, remember our neighbors, those who live around us, behind us, above us, Lord, beneath us, on the same building. We ask you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Lord God, that you will deliver. God, that you will set free. Mighty God, we intercede today, my God. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord of mercy, oh God, for those who do not know you as their Savior and their Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Perhaps somebody got weak in the faith. Hallelujah. Maybe they drifted a little bit, mighty God. I pray you would not let them go, my God. Hallelujah. For those who are backslidden, we pray for restoration. We pray for revival. My God, hallelujah. Lord, do not wipe the entire country off. My God, because of the sin of, of a few. Lord, there must be somebody in the land. Hallelujah. Lord Almighty, deliver, Lord Jesus. We pray for our country here, Canada. My God, for every province, for every, oh God, for every territory from east to west. Mighty God, we place our, our, oh God, this province before you, Ontario. My God, we pray for our region, York region. Mighty God, we pray for all the, uh, God, all the municipalities in the region. We pray for the mayors, the, the members of parliament. God, those who are in leadership role. We put the churches before you right now. Hallelujah. Send a revival in every church. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Put a word, oh God, like a sword in the mouth of the preachers. Let them preach the gospel. Lord, I pray that the saints will live holy and live right. Stir us up, oh God. Get us, Lord, back on our feet. Hallelujah. God, help us to find, hallelujah, men to match the mission. Lord, as we give you thanks in the name of Jesus. Hear us, oh God, we pray today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. It's got a few more minutes left. So we are talking about Abraham uh, in chapter 18 of Genesis, that great intercessor. Again, thank you for joining us. Those of you who are just coming, Abraham was not known for his prayer. But you know what? There is something I discovered. Abraham loved to build altars. <laughs> Wherever this man went, if you went somewhere, you see a pile of stone, you can say, well, Abraham, Abraham was probably here. This man learned to build altars. And ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, uh, let's build altars. Praise God. Build altars before you back out your driveway, say a word of prayer. Let it be a custom for you. And there are certain things that are, that has to be, some things have to be cultivated. They have to be cultivated. They won't just come easily. You, you know, you don't just wake up and want to pray. Not that your flesh don't want to pray. Praise God. You've got to, engage those who went to go start going to the gym amen you know you you have to decide you're going to do it mm -hmm. it has to be very important for you to do it amen and you got to see the worth in doing it and it nothing happens until you start amen so start um stop wishing one day one day one day and turn one day into day one into day one Today, today I'm going to pray. So I, I pray for our region. I pray for Markham, for Stouffville, for New Market, for Aurora, for Maple, for Vaughan, for Bradford, Lord, for King City. My God, we put, oh my God, York region, Simcoe region, 
Peel region, Durham region, Niagara region. Hallelujah, Lord. We put them before you. York region, we pray in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord, for a revival. Hallelujah. We come against everything that come against the people of God. Every plan of the enemy that's blocking the gospel from going forward. Every legislature. Almighty God, we command fire upon it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Lord. We pray that the hand of the enemy will be broken. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus, hallelujah, let you God arise and his enemies be scattered. In Jesus' name, deliver, Lord, those who are held in bondage, who for fear of death have been held in bondage all their life. Break every yoke, oh God. Take the nicotine out of somebody's spirit. Hallelujah, the desire for evil. Replace it with a desire for good. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Oh God, remember our sons and daughters, those who are away at school. My God, those who are away, oh God, in other countries for whatever reason it may be we pray your hand will be upon them god let not the enemy rob them of the seed you have sown in their lives in jesus name we give you thanks amen god bless you everybody praise god amen let me see what time it is 12 16 we are a minute over time praise god thank you so much for joining us today remember amen we have started this this is our second episode in this noonday um meditation every thursday at noon praise god if you can hop on just for 15 minutes of your lunchtime and let us talk let us pray together may the lord bless you enjoy the rest of the day and may the lord god bless you real good